Uh, I'm Mikey, uh, I work over at Honeybee, and today we're going to be doing a Phoenix pour over, which is one of the plethora of bloom methods that we use to make coffee for everybody every day. Um, so we've got some ground coffee right here, we're using a Sumatra Kirinchi. Um, we get like a really nice juicy green apple, nice tart, allspice kind of taste. Um, very, very, very different Sumatra than most people have had. So we'll go ahead and pour the coffee in. And we've already pre-wet the filter, which takes away any of the papery tips. And we'll go ahead and take our kettle with 200 degree water. And we'll go ahead and start with our first pour. And if you come in close, uh, you'll see the coffee start to bubble up. Um, what that is, that's natural gases and soluble and soluble oils. Um, that are getting released and all of those contain the flavor, aroma, and overall profile of the cup. And usually do double the water to the coffee that we already put in for the bloom. We give it about 30 to 40 seconds. And we're gonna do our set pour. And the reason why we do pour overs is drip coffee is fantastic, but each coffee has even crazier nuances than drip can sometimes show. So with a pour over, you're in control of the grind size, the water temperature, and those two interactions, which control all those tastes. Um, and we want to give the best tasting coffee and also a unique taste. And this gives us the avenue to do so. Um, also, too, if we want to pull more of one thing out, um, we can have the ability to do that, too, based on grind setting, water temperature, and also the brew method that we use, whether it be Chemex, Phoenix, AeroPress, etc. Usually most pour overs take about two and a half to three and a half minutes depending on what you have. Um, and sometimes can take three and a half minutes depending on the brew method as well. Um, this one usually takes about two minutes and 30 seconds. Um, we're doing a little bit smaller of a cup. Um, so it'll be a similar profile to what you get maybe out of the AeroPress or a really taste forward Americano and not full water in Americano. Nearing the end of our brew, we're about two minutes and 20 seconds in. So before this gets too <coughs> dry as far as the bed goes, we're going to go ahead and pull this up. Set it right there. Give it a little smell. And swirl it to incorporate those oils and everything that way you're getting full well on the cup of coffee. And then we just grab it up. There you go. Another delicious cup of coffee.